Joining us now is Dr. Omer Awan, a physician and public health expert. Um, Dr. Awan, thanks as always for being here this morning. Appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me, Marky. I mean, July has already broken a record for the month with most tick bites since 2017. And might I add, it's, it's July 10th right now, so we still have most of the month left. How concerned should we be by this and, and what's contributing to this trend? Well, we should absolutely be very concerned because tick bites are increasing significantly, uh, particularly within the last eight years, you know, the most, I think, for, since 2017, based on the CDC record. But what's driving this is predominantly climate change, you know, warmer temperatures and ticks thrive in warmer temperatures. And now that we have milder winters, that means that ticks are less likely to die off in the winter and they can survive and be active for much longer. And the other aspect of this is it's not that they're just active for longer periods of time they're also able to go to different geographic areas, areas that we've never seen before. So for example, you take a look at Lyme disease. Lyme disease has traditionally been in the Northeast, but now we're seeing it in areas where we've never seen it before, places like Southern Canada, uh, even Minnesota, Maine, upstate New York. So this is obviously a very concerning trend. Yeah, I, uh, I have a friend who has Lyme disease and it's just horrendous uh, to watch. You know, I grew up in Texas and Oklahoma and oftentimes you'd come in from playing outside all day, you'd have a tick on you, you know, you'd put a hot match on it or nail polish, which I feel sure is not the way to, <laughs> you know, <laughs> to, to fix the problem. But then you kind of just, you know, called it a day and went on. I feel like there's so much more alarm now around it. Is that because there's more information out there have or have ticks become more disease prone too as the years have gone on? Well, definitely there's more information and there's more awareness in the general public. And that's why we talk about it more. And that's why we're here talking about it. But also, uh, yes, they can have very serious diseases. Now, the majority of ticks are not uh, will not cause illness, but there are a hand few that definitely will. And, you know, as you said, it can lead to, you know, very important and sometimes serious symptoms, you know, things like fever, headache, chills, uh, muscle aches, for example. But for some like that have Lyme disease, it can even result in very serious complications like heart block, which is, you know, something that can potentially be devastating and even life threatening. So definitely something to look out for and for us to be vigilant about, you know, looking for ticks carefully. Yeah. And if and when we find a tick on us or our kids or our pets, I mean, what should our immediate next steps be, doctor? Well, obviously, you know, there's several things that you can do. One is to avoid areas where ticks usually live, things like wooded, brushy, grassy areas. Obviously, if you're an outdoorsy type of person and you like to hike, you know, making sure that you hike on the center of the trail and not along the periphery, because if you're on the periphery, that's usually around grassy areas where they're likely to bite you. Making sure that you wear long sleeve clothing, you know, things like, you know, long sleeve shirts, long sleeve pants, using insect repellents that contain DEET or Picardin, and then also, you know, applying permethrin cream on your clothes that can repel ticks. But maybe the most important thing, Marquis, is, you know, just doing tick checks on your loved ones, you know, after they come back from being outdoors, you know, scrutinizing their body, their back, their legs, their scalp, making sure that you don't see a tick. That can significantly decrease uh, your chances of getting bit by a tick. Yeah. And if you think you have been bit, I mean, should you go to the doctor uh, or, or ER immediately or do you wait for possible symptoms? Uh, what's your guidance there? Well, you should take action immediately, whether that means going to the ED, that's fine. But also, you know, if you have somebody there that can, you know, put gloves on, get tweezers and, you know, remove the tick, that's also fine. You know, so if you feel comfortable doing that, you absolutely can do that. But, you know, if you should probably go to the ED if you have any questions or concerns. All right. Yeah, we hear you loud and clear there. Um, Dr. Omerawan, thank you for being here. Uh, just seeing the video makes you itchy, right, of all these ticks <laughs> that we're playing. Um, so it's a good reminder, Absolutely. good warning to families out there this morning. Appreciate it, sir.